Hey everybody, this is Steve Ugin. I'm with Adam Hood. We're here in the Tenderloin District in downtown San Francisco. Just got, we're right outside the YWAM San Francisco base. Um, I got into the city a couple days ago and uh, we've already started to connect and have meetings about Love San Francisco, both internally to kind of plan and seek God's heart for what he wants to do in the city. Um, as well as to look at different neighborhoods and to recon different neighborhoods and to ask God for specific strategies. And yesterday we were at Ocean uh, Beach, which is on the northwest sort of side of San Francisco. We did a, a worship and prayer time. That's what the Lord has been speaking to us over and over again, is that there is a redemptive purpose for this city. Um, there's many things that have come out of this city. Uh, the, the sexual revolution of the 60s came out of the Haight-Ashbury neighborhood. Um, the LGBT, uh, uh, act, there's a tremendous amount of LGBT activism that's come out of the city, uh, out of the Castro District in San Francisco. Um, and so there's a redemptive purpose in the city. In fact, when we were in worship and prayer, we felt like the Lord was saying, this is the city of love. There is a redemptive purpose, and that's that this city is, called, is the city of love, which is awesome for Love San Francisco, because that's what we've been called to do. We believe this city's been called to love God and to love people into the kingdom, and that's exactly what we propose to do this fall. Um, so we've been praying and worshiping. We feel like the Lord's saying worship is the strategy here, that this uh, San Francisco is only seven miles by seven miles, so it's only 49 square miles on a peninsula, and the picture that I've seen over and over is that this city is supposed to be an altar to the Lord, a place where night and day worship and prayer are going to go up to heaven, and God's going to respond by pouring out His Spirit on all flesh and drawing people to true love, not counterfeit love, not love found in, in, in prosperity in the tech industry, not love found in, uh, you know, uh, distorted views of human sexuality, but true love, which is coming back into relationship with the Father. So it's been really cool that the Lord's been just kind of showing us what His heart is for this area. Uh, and we also, we just got done with the meeting with YWAM because we're trying to figure out this housing thing. Adam, you want to kind of debrief everybody about how that meeting went? Oh, the, the meeting was just epic. It was awesome meeting. It was so full of God and, and just hearing the history of YWAM and, and just where they've come and all the miracles that have happened. I mean, they recently purchased this building right here and it was millions of dollars that they did not have. And um, God just worked miracle upon miracle. This is a sign and a wonder right here in San Francisco. This is a sign and a wonder of the faithfulness of God and, and being able to provide financially, but not just financially, to create a spiritual stronghold for the kingdom of God in a city that so many people have just forsaken, even in the church. But I'm here to tell you today that God has not forsaken San Francisco. That's right. He has a calling on the city. He provided the millions of dollars that was needed for this base to be established. And by the way, they're running outreaches today out of this place, sharing the gospel in the streets of San Francisco. People are praying. They want to join with us. They want to partner with us and sow into this ministry. We're That's talking right. about now the logistics of how they can facilitate a hundred people coming out here to serve for Love San Francisco. There's real spiritual momentum happening right now. God is on the move in San Francisco. And this connection with That's YWAM right. is very strategic. They're connected with the greater Bay Area body of Christ. We just know that God is knitting our hearts together relationally. Yeah. We connected so deeply in such a short amount of time with these guys. I've known Tim over the years, but I saw Steve as he shared his heart with Tim and Tim as he shared his heart with Steve, this instant kind of knitting of hearts. So yeah. this is relational. God's really building the kingdom. It's a city of love and it's a kingdom of love. And that's how this that's is right. gonna be built by his spirit, that's which right. is love joy, peace, patience. It's not by might. It's not by our willing it. God already wills this. We're just coming into agreement with the mind of Christ for this hour for San Francisco. You know, the other thing I wanted to share about YWAM is that they've been connected with the Firebase movement and these different outreaches uh, for a long time. We love their DNA. Um, I, the other thing that was on my heart to share is this YWAM base is here and we're going to be able to bring workers from out of the city to reach the city as a result of people who said yes to Jesus. 
So other, people's, other people obeyed God and now there's a kingdom base here that we're gonna be able to join with and I believe God's looking for other people who are willing to obey God. So we're calling you to, to, to obey God. If he's calling you to come to San Francisco, start praying about that right now. If he's calling you because your obedience could result in people's eternal destiny changing. We love you guys. We love San Francisco. We love YWAM. And, and most of all, we love Jesus, man, because he loves this city. Let's love San Francisco together.